Welcome back to comics, to Hot Comics TV and The Rocketeer by Dave Stevens. So, um, this is my copy from 1990-something. <laughs> Can't remember when I got this. Um, I just remember that this book was just kind of like everywhere at one point. It wasn't just like at the comic book store. I think the bookshops were carrying this from what I remember. And I saw this. And, but I can't remember when I picked it up. Anyway, because it's such a big real estate of a book, I mean, it's on that sort of treasury editions dimensions, right? Uh, yeah, so it's 91. So this is a collection of the Rocketeer from 85 all the way to 91 because the, the Rocketeer had like a like kind of like a disjointed publication. It started in one in, in one publication and then moved to another uh, what do you call it a publisher? It just moved publishers. Dave Steves and then this this book kind of, this book kind of collected all the works of, that Dave Stevens have done. That's Dave there. Um, I wonder if that was for the film adaptation because I can't really remember when the movie came out as well. And that movie flopped. That movie bombed so hard that even like the other kids that I would be talking to go like, I I'd be like, did you see the Rocketeer? Like, that was stupid. And I know, nobody liked it. Yeah, Betty Page, these sort of threw me out like I thought, what is this real? Like, kind of like, yeah, that nice way of making and conceiving a universe and giving and layering it down. They, they, other being other than being a master draftman, pencil or inker, um, he was just an exceptional what do you call it creator on the level of create and layering the world and sort of like throwing that fiction to to reality. And that's, that's what he did, right? He created that sort of, like, that mythology that you could go, like, oh, did this really happen? Especially when you're young, you go, like, ah, oh, what? <laughs> Obviously, uh, Dave was a master craftsman, artist, and uh, awesome comic book creator. And you can sort of see it because he makes it look simple, but it's all really well refined, what he called cartoon. This is the best comic book. One of the best comic books that you'll see ever being assembled. Due to the fact that the way that he's done it, like when you see it as a penciling, inking sort of method, that's what this is. The coloring is also pretty cool. Um, flat color. So obviously it looks like somebody's coming and done it with like, what do you call it? Um, wet meter, like some sort of wash or acry acrylics. I wonder if, uh, what do you call it? Um, Dave did the coloring. Oh no. So we got Judge Yoda. Oh wow. Okay. I'm Bruce Team. Oh my God. <laughs> Brent, Brent Anderson, Scott Sa Saavedra. And Jennifer Frank. Wow, we got it like a like a very heavyweight coloring group of artists. Uh, there's a documentary that came out. Uh, I can't remember, maybe two years ago, something about Dave. Um, and and people are just talking about how how cool this man was, and obviously he did cool work. But I never really get to hear about the Rocketeer. I never really get to hear about people like you know making commentary about it i know that people like my friends that read comics or the f the few people that do do read it um they don't know anything about the rocketeer and don't even even bother to talk to someone that's like a millennial sorry <laughs> someone that's like in their 20s like oh, what? <laughs> the rocketeer <laughs> rocket man what uh so yeah um he's doing a throwback to uh, I guess old comic book strips, the Sunday funnies, that's what it feels like to me when I look his, at his work now with a different set of eyes. Very expressive um, facial expressions. He 
he had people linking him as well, if I'm not not incorrect, but doesn't elaborate on that. Um, I think that maybe Adam Hughes was doing some of the inking or helped out with the inking. Because they, uh, um, Adam, Adam Hughes kind of has a flavor of this. Of, of, of Dave Stevens sort of like, you know, method of work. Although Adam's gone full digital. I would love to have seen Dave grow an old man and embrace digital format. It would have been interesting to see him work on a digital era. Beautiful work. Apparently, he took his time as well with these things. Um, he was not a speedy artist. He was focus on the quality of the drawing so yeah but you can tell I mean I guess he's one of those perfectionists all the inking is doing all the labor on this we could be watching this in black and white and it would be you know absolutely immaculate the color device is just another tool obviously but beautiful stuff Betty Page, yes. So Betty Page was a real pinup art um, model from oh god, I can't remember, maybe sixties. And Dave Stevens befriend, brief, befriended her like at her later age, and took her character of the modeling, the pinup era. I took her and made her into a character for that. Yeah, this is beautiful work. I don't know how easy available this is. I think there was like a new publication of, of his works, but I'm not too sure. If you have this, it would be interesting to know how you got this as well, and also if you were aware of it, if you have the original floppies, uh, I would be interested in hearing that as well. Also if you have any other Dave Stevens work, because there's a few things out there that I have never been able to get it. I think that if you're in LA, maybe it'll be a little bit easier to, to get these books. Like the floppies, I mean. Mm, beautiful, just beautiful work. And also he's following this sort of... Uh, the physical, like the character design and anatomy, following the human anatomy is like what Frasetta did with his girls. You know, the girls are pretty, the guys look heroic, but they're not muscle-bound characters, right? Because he's inserting himself as the main lead, so... Dave was kind of like a slim dude, like the Rocketeer. Yeah, this is awesome. Beautiful work. And the coloring, like... I mean, we got a stellar cast of people coloring this stuff. I wonder who owns the Rocketeer State now. If Dave Stevens' family does have something to do with it, or... or whoever. Be interesting to know. I haven't really dug around. I think Jennifer Connolly was on this. I can't remember. She was Betty Page.
Yeah, beautiful work. Every time I go over this book, I feel like I'm, you know, a little kid again. Mmm. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Alright. That's it. That's the Rocketeer by Dave Stevens. Um, nice, nice uh, collection of works of all, I guess, all the Rocketeer floppies. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe on all those good things. And have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye.